Over the years, industry as a whole has undergone countless changes, especially when it comes to the technologies that are used. Automation is one of them. In fact, it has improved production and security processes. In this video, we will talk about DCS. What are they and how are they used? Jais, for over a decade, has been providing its customers with the best solution for the supply chain, and in their catalog you can find any DCS from the lady manufacturers. The DCS is a system that coordinates and manages an entire plant with many different processes. Stated in this way, someone may wonder what is the difference between the DCS and the PLC, which is already used in many sectors. The PLC, unlike the DCS, is great to manage single processes, usually employed for repetitive controls. They are used for single batch processing or high speed processes. They are very simple and cheap to build. Besides, with their design, they can be configured and customized according to users' needs easily. The operation speed managed by the PLC is almost always very fast. An operator monitors the process through a SCADA screen. A DCS instead is used for continuous and complex controls. They have a control display that is very similar to the SCADAs, which is also the heart of the system. Moreover, a DCS possesses a default number of functions that can be customized. The procession times are slower than the PLC's ones and the operator interacts with the control system through a display. The proper scenery for a DCS is certainly a big plant or factory, with many processes and applications. For small plants, PLCs are more preferable. Let's now focus on the DCS and its components. Let's imagine a level-based system as a hierarchical pyramid. A classical plant starts with a control center, commonly called an operator station. For a DCS, the operator stations are the heart of the system. Here is where the operator can observe all the operations that the plant performs. He can view warnings and alerts, he can monitor the production and more. In the next level we find servers, storage computers and design stations. The servers store the processor data and they are responsible for the communication between the computers of the control center and the plant processors. Storage computers are used to store historical plant data, such as projects and technical specifications. The design stations are used to create the projects on which the processes are performed, such as the hardware configurations and the graphics that the operator will see on the display. This is the station that will upload the projects to the various processors of the system. Next, we find the level of supervision and command. Here, an operator, through a man-machine interface, has the control and supervision of the area. Generally, this level is composed of a SCADA which transmits to the operator a series of process information coming from the area. At the next level are the controllers and PLCs, which supervise and operate the individual processes. The controllers are also responsible for sending the data to the servers which in turn will provide the images to the displays in the control center for monitoring. The next level is that of implementation, also called field. The communication between the processes and the components is very variable. It depends on the type of object that is performing the operation. The components on this level are devices such as transmitters, switches, valves, motors, and they communicate with the highest level through electrical signals emitted by the various devices in use. Let's now try to make a practical example. Let's see an example of a gas flow control valve in the fifth level, which is the field. In the fourth level, the one of the controllers, there's a flow meter, which acquires the data and sends them to the operator. 
In the third level, the operator decides to regulate the flow rate, therefore he issues the command through the interface. The second level stores the data for similar future operations. Later, various algorithms can be created in order to identify this kind of operation. In the first level, the operator of the control center monitors the process and its execution. VCS can definitely take automation technology to the next level, with less margin of error and more efficiency. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find out more about our next projects by visiting our website, jazzcompany.com.